F. Al Harrington Jr. here with Isaiah. Not him. <laughs> <laughs> with the lovely Chandra. Yeah, so real raw authentic. This is our first video and more to come yes. about what we eat. People always ask us, what do you guys eat? What type of juice you made? All these questions. So look, we wanted to make a quick video mm -hmm. to show you about the juice that I make. So it's summertime, so I'm doing a summer juice, watermelon, cucumber, pineapples. And so we just kind of want to show you how we make it. You cut it up, seeded watermelon, three cucumbers, and two pineapples. So very refreshing, refreshing drink for the summertime. And so let's just get started so you can see how it's all done and then we'll give it a taste test and then we'll let you get up out of here. But uh, watermelon, very, very good summer, 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 summer food because it's water-based. So it's gonna keep you hydrated and it increases blood flow and it's good for inflammation. And then I mentioned it increases blood flow Guys, you know what that means. Okay, but anyway, most people drink a pre-workout uh, drink before they go to the gym. Watermelon is a good, 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 good food or drink to do before a workout because it's gonna increase that blood flow. Cucumbers are very, very, very good for also inflammation, skin, skin care. If you want that skin, if you don't want to age, Cucumbers and cucumbers are alkaline and they also provide hydration. The last but not least, well, this is the last of this juice, pineapples. Pineapples are great for inflammation, digestive system, immune system, um, and it sweetens the juice. Really, really good. So pineapples and apples is what I use a lot to sweeten the juice. Uh, I'm using this juicer here. It's a cold press juicer. People often ask me what's the difference between a cold press juicer and a, what's the other juicer? Centrifugal. Yeah, centrifugal juicer. Well, a cold press juicer is just what it is. It presses the fruit, so it, 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 it extracts all the juice out without heating up, so it saves all the, the enzymes and, uh, and the nutrition. To whereas the centrifugal juicer, juicer, sometimes it breaks down the nutrition, it's still good for you, thank you baby. But sometimes it still breaks down the nutrition in it, but either way, you can't go wrong. We just decided to use a cold press juicer. I love this juicer. Come on now, baby, we on film now. You can't be dropping stuff in the bowl. I love this one here. But yeah, so we're just gonna get started making this for you guys. Kinda see how it goes. Very easy juice to make. Very easy to do. You know, because we want to see you guys healthy. It's a great way to get your kids involved. Yes. Right now it would be extremely loud, but our other two children are with the grandparent right now. You want to so help? We only have one. You want to help? <laughs> it is. My kids, they love this. So they love watermelon, they love pineapples. It's a great way to get them to get their fruits and vegetables in and their daily service of fruits and vegetables. As you can see it coming out over here, another thing I want to tell you about the juicer, the higher quality juicers, like the cold press juicer, your pulp, your pulp here, right here. You see, see how dry that is? Normally sometimes it's real wet, meaning that it doesn't press out all of the juice, but with a cold press juicer, it does a pretty good job of pressing out all of the juice. So therefore, you're not wasting any of it. And it does great with leafy green vegetables as well. To whereas the uh, centrifugal juicer doesn't do as good with leafy greens. So, and we kind of just mix it all up. You don't want to do just one thing at a time. That way it's kind of all blended in pretty good. And it has a built-in yeah. strainer that catches it. So sometimes we have to kind of loosen that stuff up in there, but as you can see, it's a very, very simple process, and it's not loud. No. Like I said, we want to see America healthy, man. You know, ain't that what Trump said? What Trump say? Make America great? Oh, yeah, whatever. We say make America healthy, you know, got my own thing. 
But uh, we want to see America healthy, you know, and this is just a good way to do it. And it's a sweet drink. So most people think of juices, they think gross. They think green stuff, they think uh, bitter tasting, but it's really not that, people. You can get them bitter, <laughs> but this is not bitter. Super sweet. Super and sweet. delicious. <laughs> Couple more before we have to dump this container. This container holds about 32 Yay. ounces of juice. <laughs> you want to help, man? You want to help? <laughs> He's out helping for today. So now we're getting ready to switch it out and dump it into the container now. Slide that there. Move your container over. It gets kind of messy sometimes. And that's about 32 ounces. So we're going to keep going. Real easy, real quick. Like I said, if you don't have time to get your fruits and vegetables in by eating them, juicing is a great way. Another advantage of the cold press juicer is that the juice lasts longer. The juice lasts up to three days. Sometimes if you do more alkaline fruits or vegetables, it lasts longer. Sometimes I put a lemon in here or I do kale and spinach and it actually lasts up to probably almost five days. I would say four days at least, sometimes five days because the more alkaline uh, fruits and vegetables that you do, the longer that it lasts. So that's another advantage of the cold press juice. To whereas the other juicer, the central frugal juicer, you basically had to drink the juice within a few hours to really to really reap the benefit, which is not a problem if you're home. You know, you can just make some juice and drink it. But when you're on the go a lot, I juice about a gallon at a time or a little bit more. And then I just uh, take it with me when I'm on the road. When I'm off doing stuff, take my cooler with me, put me about 16 to 32 ounces in a bottle, and there I go. That's lunch dinner or whatever I want it to be. Sometimes I'll take a few bottles with me, but it's real simple to make, real easy to make. And like my wife was saying, the kids love it. The kids love it. They drink this stuff. Do your kids struggle to eat fruit or even uh, vegetables, juicing, and smoothies are both great ways to get the stuff in for your kids. I know we have one kid that will eat anything and everything, so <laughs> that's not a problem. But uh, one of our other kids, it's a struggle to get in any vegetables or fruit. And so I'll make smoothies. I'll make smoothies for him, and I'll put in spinach, strawberries. And then when Fernandez makes the juices, he loves the juices also. And as you can see, we've got the cucumbers, watermelon, pineapple, and there's other um, juices we make that includes vegetables. So yes. it's a great way to get vegetables and fruit in your kitchen. Yes, yes, great way. My mouth is watering right now. I can't wait to taste this. I wish you can taste it. <laughs> But like I said, there's going to be many more videos like this to come. This is just the first of many videos, you know, so we want you to stay tuned. If you don't, uh, if you haven't liked our page, Real Raw Authentic, go to our Facebook page, like it. Go to our Instagram and like it. We're going to be doing a lot more videos like this. Because like I said, we just want to see you get healthy, you know. He wants the watermelon. That's what he wants. Physical health is just one part of the journey, you know. We want to see you get mentally healthy, spiritually healthy, emotionally healthy. So physical health is just one part of it. And no part is bigger than the other. You know, like me and my wife talk about, you know, they all work together. I'm about to allow this to overflow real quick. Yeah, so it's kind of getting a lot in there now. 
Just catching it. So yeah, real simple, real easy. Um, like I said, we just cut up our watermelon, seeded watermelon. You know, I try to do as much fruit as I can with seeds in it. You know, I just feel a certain type of way about uh, seedless watermelons and seedless grapes, you know, but that's a whole nother video. Uh, so <laughs> if I can find seeded, I try to find seeded watermelons, seeded grapes. Um, but I always start with a water base. I uh, always start with a water base to very produce important. more juice. That's very, very important. You know, apples taste good when you juice them, but it doesn't produce a lot of juice. Leafy greens taste good when you juice it, but it doesn't produce a lot of juice. So if you notice from here on out, when you see these videos and, and uh, you watch, watch us juice it, I always start with a water base juice. I mean, a water based fruit uh, or fruit or veggie, like celery is a good water base cucumber and watermelon and always going to be my three bases for my juices and then i just kind of add in from there you know so like i said in this one i use two water-based fruits just, just to kind of produce more and then to kind of double up on the hydration because it's so hot so we're getting ready to dump this um pour it in here let's see Well, we're not going to do all of this. Now it's time for the taste test. Let's see what it really, really tastes like. Babe, you give me some glasses? Like I said, my mouth is watering right now. I can't wait to taste it, so I don't even want to do all this. I'm ready to drink some now. For you? Thank you. And if you want to feel super fancy, go ahead and pull that wine glass out. Before you summon your wine glass and drink it. <laughs> Super fancy, huh? Super fancy. Here's the help. Cheers. This is for my boy Jay right here. I'm going to give it to you real. I'm going to give it to you raw and authentic. Mm -hmm. Jay, that was for you. And Brandy Jeffries, if you're watching this, this is not green. You're missing out. All right. So until next time, listen, real, raw, authentic. Stay tuned. We're going to make more videos. Yeah, I'm getting ready to drink some right now. Cheers. Can't drink as fast as he does, though. It's good. good. What are you doing, boy? Uh-uh. Peekaboo. Till next time. Holla.